So, last class we have, we have considered the one problem that uh, we have a one point is fixed and other point is free. Again, the point A is fixed and point B is free. So, what we have considered let us our problem is that this is the functional which is t 0 to t f this functional we have to optimize either minimize or maximize. What should be the choice of the trajectory x t so that this functional is a maximized or minimized. So, let us consider the x star is the optimal trajectory and its point A is fixed B is free. It may be free in time and may be fixed in the end points of x. Now, near uh, neighboring of this trajectory we have considered another trajectory that x star delta of x t that is x a <coughs> and this trajectory is we have assumed a that is d c this trajectory and whatever the notation we have used it the same notation what we have used it earlier considered here and what is we have to do first we have to find out the what is called our first variation of the functional value del j change in or incremental change in functional value this and this t 0 to t f plus delta t f because t f is free and x t f also free x value final value of state also free. So, this we can split up into two parts t 0 to t f plus t f to delta t f. So, what we did it here we did exactly same t 0 to t f and delta t f to del t f plus delta t f. Now, this part and this part we have already simplified in earlier. So, there is no problem with these two parts and these two parts will give you the condition for Euler's Lagrange equation. Now, what about this one? So, this we will see it is nothing but a let us call this is the functional v and it is the integration from t 0 to t f let us call t f is there uh, t f delta v f. So, area under this curve. So, how we are approximated this integration term ultimately we have explained earlier ultimately we have approximated that integration part by this one that means it indicates whatever the slope at this point t is equal to t f v of x t curve that that v of x t curve that this is this is the v of x t curve take the slope of this one agree okay, then multiplied by delta t f at t is equal to t f find out the functional value and multiplied by t f. So, this is the approximate value of what is called this integration part when t f is very small delta t f is very small. So, using this expression this expression in equation this expression and this approximation we did it by this, this one using this expression here then we will get it finally, this expression and I told you if you consider I told you earlier this and this we can simplify as we did earlier by this term okay, this and this term. So, last term we have simplified this, this this way that is middle term of this increment of functional value is approximated this one and now see this one <coughs> this term t is equal to t 0 delta x t 0 is 0 because this is a fixed point, but t f at delta t f delta uh, delta t f t uh, delta x t f is not 0. So, further we can what we can simplify this, this one that we will discuss now. So, if you see this one that <coughs> that same expression I can write delta j nearly equal to t 0 to t f and delta del v del x of t this one minus d of d t 
del v dot del v dot del x dot of this hole then holes the get transpose at along the optimal trajectory this one and delta x t d t plus del v dot del x dot whole transpose star means along the trajectory star means along the trajectory del x t. So, t is equal to t f because delta t, delta x t is equal to t 0 is 0. So, that term we are not considering on the previous step and this two terms includes the first term of incremental transformation and third term of incremental transformations. That is this indicates the after simplification all these things this indicate that I told you incremental transformation this term this term as we did earlier is the simplification after simplification we got it that one. Plus middle term of this one we have approximated the integration T f to T f plus delta T f V d t is approximated by take the slope of the functional at t is equal to T f then multiplied by delta T f. So, this is T x T x star or you whole thing you write it bracket then complete the bracket and then put star whatever you like it. Then you evaluate this as T is equal to T f again find the value of the function at t is equal to t f then multiply just like approximation by rectangular area we got it again okay. this and it is just if you recollect this one what we did it here that find out the value of the function at v function at t is equal to t f. So, this is the ordinate and that ordinate multiplied by delta t f will give you the value of the function value of this curve when integration t g t f to t f plus delta t f. It is the approximation is valid when delta t f is small. Okay. So, that what we did it here. The next is let us call this is equation number 4. We have considered up to equation number 3. Last equation if you see we have done up to equation 3 this one. So, this is equation number 4. Now, look at this expression of this one that we have a use this lemma, use this lemma as we discuss uh, the important lemma is T 0 to T f G T delta x t d t is equal to 0 if and only if G t is continuous and it is 0 at every point over the interval t 0 to t f that if and only g t is 0 at every point over the interval over the interval t 0 to t f. So, we will use this lemma in this equation 4. So, this part will be 0 provided this is 0, because I have to necessary condition for the function to be optimized is delta j must be equal to 0, first variation of the function must be 0, this is the necessary condition. So, using the lemma in 4, we get del v del x t minus d of d t del v dot del x dot of t whole is equal to you can find out you can put all these things is star or because I have to find out the trajectory, optimal trajectory of this one or you solve this one whatever the solution of x you will get it that will give you the x star either you can put whole thing star or omit this one and this dimension is 
n cross 1. If x is the vector whose dimension is n cross 1, that n variables are there x 1, x 2, x 2, then the dimension is this one. So, n in addition to this, this must be 0 in order to make this is that. So, our in order to make this is del j is 0. So, if this is 0 in the expression 4 boils down to that one that nearly equal to del v del x dot of t whole transpose delta x delta s, because del j is scalar quantity this is a row column vector. Now, you have to take transpose of this one when you write it this one and this you have to calculate t is equal to t f plus v dot v t x star of t x dot star of t whole t is equal to t is equal to t f into delta t f and that what we can simplify that one we can see here. So, <coughs> Now, look at this expression for that, that, that one, what you can write it for this one. Refer to our original figure, T, this is A, this is B, this is T f, this is T 0 and this is our d and this is our c. So, as this and this value is if you see this value is our delta x t f and from here to here from here to here if you recollect that this is our nothing but a delta x this is at c t f plus delta t f agree and that we denoted by delta x f agree. So, this is x of t 0. Now, see how we can write it a delta x of f means value of the function along the x a of t near this is x star of t trajectory and this is the x of t is equal to x star of t plus delta x of t. So, this one is nothing but a this one this length of this one this length plus this length. So, I am writing it this delta this that delta x t f plus find out the slope at this point multiplied by delta t f what is the incremental. So, x a dot of t find out this derivative at this point okay. and that at t is equal to t f into delta t f. So, this expression I can write it. Now, which in turn I can write it delta x t f delta x t f this one is equal to delta x f minus x a dot t t is equal to t f delta t f agree. So, this expression we will use in equation number 5 let us call this is the equation number 5 for our case this is the equation number 5 this is the equation number 5. <coughs> so, and this is the equation number 6 using 6 in 5 using 6 in 5 what we get it. So, let us write it 5 delta j nearly equal to this term as it is we will write it that v t x star of t 
x dot star of t that bracket form t is equal to t f second term of expression second term of equation 5 is this one plus but delta t f is there delta t f plus first term I am writing now del v dot del x dot of t that transpose this as t is equal to t f t is equal to t f and we have a this delta x t f that this thing I first put the value of this one then this you can do it put this value this, this is an at t is equal to t f you put this value in the gradient transpose gradient of v with respect to x dot it is transpose you put this value and then multiplied by x t is equal to t f that is what we did it. Then this one this expression in place of t f x t f this I will put this value here. So, if you use this value here then we will get it delta j we will get it delta j nearly equal to v t x dot x star of t then x dot star of t bracket close t is equal to t f into delta t f that is first term as it is second term of first part we will write as it is second term of first part we will write as it is and second part we replace delta x t f is equal to delta x f minus x a dot of t t is equal to t f that means find out the slope of the neighborhood, neighborhood trajectory of the optimal trajectory at find out the slope at t is equal to t f agree then multiplied by delta t f. So, this is the second part I have replaced x delta x bracket t f replaced by that one. So, now see this one what is note just note what is x t f delta dot x t f is equal to x dot t f star plus delta x dot t f this one. So, I will put this value in this equation and if you put this value in this equation you see delta x dot t f this and delta x t f multiplied by t f. So, this is a small quantity again it is a small quantity the second part is omitted neglected. So, what is left over term is here after putting this expression t x star of t into x dot star of t t is equal to t f delta t f plus v x dot of t whole transpose this and this you see as it is that one delta x f and this term x dot x a dot t x a dot t is the trajectory neighborhood of the optimal trajectory that one agree okay. at this point you are finding out the slope multiplied by del. So, if you put this one this will be replaced by this one multiplied by delta e f. So, this term delta x dot t f multiplied by delta t f is neglected. So, it will be left with x dot star t f again okay. now we can what we can write it just see this one delta t and this is multiplied by this one multiplied by delta t f that is I missed it here delta t f then bracket close because this one multiplied by delta t f. 
So, delta T f delta T f I will take common then you will get V T x star of T x dot star of T agree bracket close minus del V del x dot of T whole agree this star multiplied by x dot star T f this because delta T f is common in both the expression this expression and this and this expression delta T f plus left over term is del V x dot T gradient of V with respect to x dot whole transpose star okay, into star into delta x f this one agree. Okay. So, this this is the equation. Now, delta j will be 0 delta j if, if we impose the first necessary condition is the assigned to 0 will give you the optimum value the point what is called solution of this trajectory will give you the optimum value of the functional. So, in order to make 0 when delta T f is not 0 this must be 0. If T f delta T f is 0 means final time is fixed on the other way delta x f is arbitrary that means x f the final point of x is arbitrary then delta x f is not equal to 0. So, in order to make that is delta g 0 this term must be 0, but if it is fixed that is end point of our trajectory is fixed x f is fixed, but T f is free then this one will be 0. Okay. So, now let us see what is the condition can impose in order to make delta j first variation of the functional assigned to be 0. If the variation delta t f and delta x delta x f are arbitrary or be terry we obtain delta j is equal to 0 if we assign that v t x of t x dot of t minus del v del x dot of t this one whole transpose x dot of t and this value you see when delta T f is not arbitrary then this cannot be 0 this must be 0 in another time mix. So, this equal to this equal to 0 at yeah, T is equal to T f. So, here I have forgot here I forgot to write you see this is T f at t is equal to t f this is also you see x t is equal to t f agree this whole term you see this is t f at t is equal to t f agree and this is also at t is equal to t f. So, we can write it here at t is equal to t f this one this I missed here and next is this will be at t is equal to t f. So, if you put it this this one here you see t is equal to t f from there here I missed it this one. So, this into t f so whole thing I can write it that whole this and t is equal to t f. So, this equal to 0 when delta t f is not equal to 0 in other words T f is free 
and under, under another condition if x f is free arbitrary then this is not equal to this assign we can assign it will be 0 and another condition that delta v dot delta x dot of t star t is equal to t f is equal to 0. Agree? So, we have used the equation up to 6, let us call this is 7, this equation 7 and this equation is 8. And when this is true, that delta x t f x f delta x f is not equal to 0, it means that x t f is free. Okay. So, 7 equation 7 and 8 commonly known as that equation 7 and 8 commonly known as or called as trans transversality condition. This is the important two condition. So, what is our conclusion? If 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 you have a problem is like this way, if you have a see this one. If you have a j is a functional, you have to optimize this functional, then what should be the choice of our optimal trajectory x t, so that this functional will be optimized. Then we have considered one point is fixed, other point is free, then time is free, x t f is free, both are free, then what we obtain first in order to the necessary condition for this one is delta first variation of the functional must be 0. In order to assign that functional first variation of functional 0, first condition is the Lagrange, our Lagrangian what is called Euler Lagrangian equation must be assigned to 0 that is Euler Lagrangian equation that is we have just what is the that is uh, your is <coughs> del v del del v del x minus d of d t del v del x minus d of d t is d of d t bracket del v del x dot is equal to 0. This is Euler's Lagrangian equation must satisfied. In addition to this, there are two conditions are there when both the points that means time and x t f are free, then these two conditions must be satisfied. That condition are called transversality conditions and this is the condition that e equation 5, agree? that uh, this equation, this equation must satisfy. So, one end is fixed, other end is free in order to optimize the functional value Agree, J is the functional, we are not to optimize, we have to satisfy first Euler's Lagrangian equation, this equation. And in, addi in addition to that, there we have a terminal condition, this 7 and 8. This terminal condition are called, end conditions are called the transversality condition. Simultaneously, we have to solve equation number, this equation and the end condition, using end condition we have to solve that means, we will get a trajectory optimal trajectory for this one. So, <coughs> next is that what is called if you summarize this one the results for this one. That what we have mentioned this one we have a functional this is t 0 to t f v x of t, x dot of t, d t. 
one end is necessary condition. We have assumed one end is fixed referred to your earlier figure one end is fixed and other end is free. So, first condition of this one in order to make first variation of the functional that first condition is del v del x of t minus okay, d of d t take the gradient of this with respect to x 1 dot this equal to 0 whose dimension is n cross 1. So, whole bracket star you can give because ultimately this equation you have to solve it not necessarily to put it star it indicates the star indicates that if you solve this equation whatever the trajectory you get you will get it that is the optimal trajectory that functional value may be maximum or minimum at this stage necessary condition will give you the what trajectory will make the functional value is maximum or minimum. That means, sufficient condition one has to check it. The next this is the one condition, next two conditions the end condition you have to use for this problem is the called transversibility condition that v dot of x del v dot del x dot of t whole transpose agree x of x dot of t this agree put t is equal to t f is equal to 0. And this condition if you see this one this condition are achieved from this condition that means, when t f is free when t f is free this condition must be satisfied. So, you whether you give it star or not it does not mean you have to solve this differential equation with this final condition this. So, this is the one condition and the next condition is that del v dot del x dot this t is equal to t f is equal to 0. So, let us call <coughs> equation number 1, equation number 2 and equation number 3. This is valid when T f is free, T f is free that means, delta T f is not equal to 0. This is true when delta delta x f or you can say x T f is free implies that delta x f x t x delta x f is not equal to 0. So, equation 1, 2, 3 equation 1 you have to solve in order to solve the equation you need the end condition of equation 2 and 3, 2 and 3 you have to use it that two things commonly I told you earlier transversality conditions, transversality condition. Agree? This is called transverse 2 and 3. So, <coughs> so <coughs> Now, we will sum we, we case we take different cases you know this one. If you consider the case A, let us call consider case A. What is the case A? Case A is when both T f and x T f are free. we need to solve one to three 
this three equation you have to need to solve one, we need to solve one to, to, to obtain optimal to obtain optimal trajectory x star of t, x is the n dimensional case then this s t, then you know both the ends is free. That means, corresponding figure if you see this is that one A, B and this is D, this is C, this is T 0, T, T f, this is T f plus delta T f, agree? and this point is you know this is x star this trajectory and this is x a of t which is equal to x star of t plus delta x of t. So, when both are free then you have to use equation number 1 and 2 then some special cases can be derived from general case p um, general case a when T f is free, but x T f is fixed, this is fixed. That means, this corresponds to curve is like this way. Suppose this is you consider x star of t near neighboring wood of this one or near very close to this way, optimal trajectory, there is a another trajectory x of t is equal to x star of t delta x of t. So, you see x t f, this is the x t f. So, x this is fixed, that means x t is equal to this is fixed agree that is fixed but t f t f and that is a t f plus delta t f you just consider this situation like this way that our at time t is equal to t f this trajectory must reach x t f value this at time t is equal to t f plus delta e that very uh, neighborhood of this trajectory also should reach at, at this fixed value t f. What is the t f value is very it should reach to the same value that that means x t f this is x t f plus delta t f this must be equal to same. both the value is same this one. So, in this case you see this condition that means x t f is fixed x t f is delta t x t f you will say delta x t f is what here you see the delta x t f is 0. So, this condition will not come into the picture only this condition. So, our we have to solve equation 1 and 2 to obtain to obtain optimal trajectory to obtain optimal trajectory we need to solve one and two agree okay. now case three or case c you can say is C when T f is fixed, but x T f is free. The corresponding figure you can visualize like this way T this is x of T and this is T f is fixed T f and this is let us call there and this is that one. 
this is you can say A, B, D. Okay. Here also if you want to give name of this one, this is A, B and this is D. Okay. This is X star of T, this is A of T. So, in this situation you see T f is fixed means delta T f is 0. So, if you see this one our that equation delta G expression then delta T f is fixed means uh, T f is fixed delta T f is 0. So, this term will not come into the picture in the end conditions. So, this is not equal to 0 because x T f is free delta T f is not equal to 0. So, this condition is 0. So, we need to solve to obtain x star of t optimal trajectory x star of t means optimal trajectory in order to make the functional value is optimized. So, we, we need to solve we need to solve equation 1 and 3. So, more general expression is one can write if you restrict the free end that means, point B restrict on a curve then what will be the transversality condition corresponding to that point. So, case 5 or case D or 4 case D when the end point B restricted to a curve G of T. Agree? Then what will be? So, corresponding diagram if you draw it here, this is x this is t, this is x of t, this is point this and our curve is g of t curve the end this is a point, this is the your b point, b point is restricted on a curve this one. So, our neighborhood of this optimal trajectory is there is another trajectory we assume that one. So, that is our d point again this corresponding to e is d point and this is corresponding to c point this is corresponding. So, this is x a t is equal to x star of t plus delta x of t. So, this is your what is called g of t the end point of the trajectory restricted on the curve which is a function of time then then what will be the condition but our Euler's condition will remain same so now what we can write it for this one see this is our if you look at this one this is our t0 this is tf and this is our T f plus delta T f and this corresponding point is x t 0 is equal to x 0 and this current this point corresponding to this one x t f is equal to x f. Agree? So, we can write it delta x T f plus delta T f agree that means, this here to here is this one I have denoted by delta x f which is nothing but a delta x T f plus delta T f. Okay. This I can write it is 
equal to delta x f, which is which is same as you can say g to the g of t take a tangent make a tangent at the point of b. So, I can write it this nearly equal to nearly equal to g of t dot find at t is equal to t f multiplied by delta t f that is nearly equal to I can write it. So, x delta x f I just replace by that one. Now, <coughs> if you see this expression when we derive that one that is okay. from the we can write it from the first variation of the functional we rewrite this expression once again. That means, from the first variation of functional if you see that one this this expression I am writing once again for your convenience. Agree? So, delta g or I have given you the equation number no I am not given. So, it is a del j is nearly equal to del v dot that star t is equal to t f delta t f agree that is t is equal to t f delta t f plus del v dot del x dot t whole transpose then star t is equal to t f into del x f minus x a dot of t, t is equal to t f del t f. Now, look this one, this value I will replace by what we made an approximation here, that is that we will replace it that one. If you replace that one, then it nearly equal to v dot this star t is equal to t f delta t f plus v dot this transpose x dot of t whole transpose star t is equal to t f and delta t f what will replace uh, delta x x f will replace by g dot t f c g dot at t is equal to t f g dot t f into delta t f into delta t f and this expression if you know this expression is nothing but a x t a x a t is nothing but a x t star plus delta x t f agree. So, this is nothing but a ok I write it that is x star t f plus delta x t f at t is equal to t f that one into delta t f bracket close. Now, this equal to so delta x of this, this term is omitted this both are small quantity of that one. So, this I can write it now if you see that v dot of star t is equal to t f delta t f plus this term is omitted. So, it will be a del v dot function of uh, or gradient of v with respect to x dot whole star then find t is equal to t f agree. Then you can write it g dot t f minus x dot this is the dot this is the dot 
because x a dot. So, dot star T f agree this one into delta T f agree. So, this can further I can simply by v dot is equal to del v dot del x dot of t whole transpose agree whole transpose. If you want to write it star you can write it here star you can write it here multiplied by x dot star of t minus g dot t whole the whole bracket because at t is equal to t f t is equal to t f mind this value you call at t is equal to this. this value you calculate at t is equal to this, this value you calculate at t is just I change this this I bring it first and this I bring it so minus sign has come here. So, into d f is equal to 0 this one. So, in order to make this is 0 in order to make this is 0 then delta t f you see in this case that is what is uh, delta t f is free agree. So, this is not equal to 0. So, this must be 0. So, our our condition for for arbitrary delta T f is not equal to 0, our condition the transversality condition case boils down to this way v dot of this del v the del x dot of t whole transpose x dot of t minus g dot of t that this whole t is equal to t f you can put a star because it is a boundary condition you have to solve Euler's equation equation number 1 as we mentioned it here that equation and this equation when you free and restrict on a curve that equation equation number 1 and 4 you have to solve this is the equation number 4. So, this is also called transversality condition transversality condition for the case when the point when the end point B is restricted on a curve x t is equal to g t on a curve g t. So, in short when the free end b is restricted on a curve uh, on a curve g t and uh, another end is fixed then we have to solve Euler's equation which is equation number 1 and equation number 4 that we have to solve it. And now question is after solving this one you will get the trajectory x of t x star of t or x of t which is the optimal trajectory agree. Now, what is the what will ensure that this trajectory will give you the optimal value of the functional optimal means whether it will give the maximum value of the functional or minimum value j will be minimum or maximum that way for that one one has to check what is called the sufficient condition for this one. So, next class we will discuss the sufficient condition to establish the what is the functional value is minimum or maximum. So, we will stop it here in this moment.